हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ अन्ना साहेब गोराने फ्रॉम रोहित शिक्षण संस्था आर बी एन बी कॉलेज श्रीरामपुर इन लास्ट टू लेक्चर्स वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम चैप्टर फ्रॉम एलेवन साइंस यू नो इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव्स इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव्स आर द वेव्स विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक एंड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड वेक्टर्स which are perpendicular to each other and also perpendicular to the direction of propagation of waves you also know the electromagnetic spectrum the sequential arrangement of electromagnetic waves according to their frequencies or wavelengths in the form of different groups having different properties is electromagnetic spectrum and this spectrum consists of gamma rays x rays ultraviolet rays visible light infrared rays microwaves and radio waves this is electromagnetic spectrum gamma rays x rays uv rays uh, visible light infrared rays microwaves uh, radio waves this much part is visible to us frequency of gamma rays is very high frequency goes on decreasing frequency of radio waves is low whereas wavelength of gamma rays is low and wavelength of radio waves is high we have already studied the properties of uh, this property production properties and uses of radio waves and microwaves now today we study the production properties and uses of infrared rays infrared rays or infrared radiations infrared rays this is one part of electromagnetic spectrum firstly we see the production of these infrared rays how they are produced production all hot bodies are sources of infrared rays all hot bodies are sources of this ir rays that is infrared rays they are produced by the all hot bodies about 60% of solar radiation is infrared in nature infrared in nature we know sun is at very high temperature all hot bodies are the sources of infrared rays about 60% solar radiations are infrared in nature thermocouple thermopile thermocouple thermopile uh, and bolometers are used these are the devices they are used to detect the infrared rays we can detect the infrared rays uh, by using thermocouple thermopile bolometer now we see some properties of these infrared rays properties of 
infrared rays all hot bodies are we know are the sources of the infrared rays first property of infrared ray is as they are produced from the hot bodies when infrared rays are incident on any object the object gets heated when ir rays incident on object object gets heated these rays already produced from hot sources and when they are incident on the body uh, that object gets heated these rays are strongly absorbed by the glass infrared rays are strongly absorbed by the glass they can penetrate through thick columns of fog can penetrate that is they can pass through thin columns of fog mist they can penetrate through this thin column of fog mist and cloud cover next properties of the infrared ray is they can penetrate to, uh, through the fog we know mist and cloud cover and one main uh, important thing is when they incident on any object object gets heated whatever may be that object then we see some uses of these ir rays these are the some properties of uh, infrared rays they are used in remote sensing in remote sensing uh, these rays are used the next use is used in diagnosis diagnosis of superficial tumors superficial tumors superficial tumors and varicose veins and varicose veins superficial tumors tumors on the surface of body for the treatment of or diagnosis of uh, tumors on the surface of the body superficial tumors and varicose veins uh, these infrared rays are used used to cure infantile paralysis used to cure infantile paralysis in medical field it is used to cure infantile paralysis and to treat sprains treat sprains dislocations and fractures used to cure the infantile paralysis treat the sprains dislocations and fractures in body this is when well, uh, main uh, use of these uh, infrared rays they are used in solar heaters and solar cookers
as these are the heat producing rays when they incident on the object heat is produced so they are used in solar heaters and solar cookers its next use is special infrared photographs infrared photographs these photographs are called as thermograms there is special name to these photographs that is thermograms this special infrared photographs that is thermograms they are used or they use to reveal diseased organs they reveals the diseased organs or they can de detect this thermograms detects the diseased organs those organs radiates less heat these organs radiates less heat than healthy organs this is organs radiates less heat than healthy organs thermograms are the special infrared rays photographs they reveals the diseased organs the diseased organs radiates the less heat than the healthy organs then infrared binoculars and cameras infrared binoculars and thermal imaging cameras these are the separate type of uh, binocular and cameras they are used in military purpose for night vision used in military for night vision by using these binoculars and the cameras are used in military for the night vision at the time of night uh, these binoculars and cameras use are used the next use is used to keep greenhouse warm used to keep greenhouse warm temperature of greenhouse is maintained by using these infrared rays used in remote controls of tv and vcr these are uses used in remote controls of television and vcr video cassette recorder remote controls in these remote con controls the infrared rays are used so these rays are very important or useful for the human beings so this is about the infrared rays this is one part of electromagnetic spectrum we have already studied the proper production properties uses of microwaves radio waves and these infrared rays uh, then we see uh, what is visible light its name indicates this portion of the electromagnetic wave is visible to human visible light this portion of the electromagnetic spectrum is visible to human it is emitted due to atomic excitation visible light its production is it is emitted due to atomic excitation when energy is received to atom it goes to excited state 
from the ground state and while returning to ground state it emits the light and that light is a visible light. This is most familiar form of the EM waves. Most familiar form of EM waves. They are produced or they are emitted uh, due to atomic excitation. Most familiar form of EM waves. These waves are detected by human eyes. Hence, we call it as a visible light. The wavelength range, there are certain different colors in this visible light and as they are detected by human eyes, it is called as visible light. There are some properties of this visible light. It consists of different colors. We know its range, it uh, ranges from violet to red. This light is emitted or reflected by the objects. Visible light is emitted by uh, or reflected by objects. Main properties, they are emitted or reflected by the objects around us and provides information about those objects and hence about the surroundings. They are emitted or reflected by the objects and provide us information about those objects and hence about the surroundings. Different wavelengths of this light different wavelengths of the light gives different colors different colors we know wavelength of light its SI unit is meter and different wavelength of this light gives rise to uh, different colors we see wavelength of some colors color and wavelength We know SI unit of wavelength is meter, wavelength is measured in meter, small unit is micrometer, nanometer, angstrom unit, 1 nanometer is 10 raised to minus 9 meter, 1 micrometer is 10 raised to minus 6 meter, 1 angstrom unit is 10 raised to minus 10 meter. We see the color and its wavelength, violet, blue green, yellow, then orange and red color wavelength, then color wavelength. orange, red, violet wavelength lies between 380 to 450, these all wavelengths are in nanometer, wavelength in nanometer, that is 10 raised to minus 9 meter, 380 to 450 range in nanometer, uh, for the violet 450 to 495 nanometer for the blue for green it is 495 to 570 in nanometer for yellow it is 570 to 590 For orange, 592-620 and for red, 620-750. to 
these all wavelengths are in nanometer that is 10 raised to minus 9 meter here there is also indigo color is there its wavelength lies in between these two wavelength of these colors increases from violet to red and a different wavelengths gives the different colors so this is about the main part of the electromagnetic spectrum it is visible to eye and that is uh, the visible light the next part of the electromagnetic spectrum is ultraviolet rays or ultraviolet radiations we see its uh, production properties and its uses uv rays this is also very important part of the em spectrum ultraviolet rays or it, they are also called as uv rays ultraviolet rays they can be produced by mercury vapor lamp electric spark production by different ways these ultraviolet rays can be produced one way is uh, by mercury vapor lamp electric spark mercury vapor lamp electric spark then carbon arc lamp by the different ways uh, these ultraviolet rays are produced these rays are invisible then second way of producing a uh, striking electric discharge striking electric discharge striking electric discharge in hydrogen and xenon gas tube in hydrogen and xenon gas tubes this is the second way of production of these ultraviolet rays and one main important natural source of these uv rays the sun is most important source of uv rays sun is most important natural source of uv rays artificially we can produce a uv rays by using these first two methods but the sun is the most important natural source of uv rays most of these uv rays are absorbed by ozone layers absorbed by ozone layer in earth's atmosphere sun is the most important and it is a natural source and most of these rays are absorbed by the ozone layer present in earth's atmosphere there are some properties of these uv rays we see its properties and then we see uh, its uh, some uses properties of the ultraviolet rays they produce fluorescence in certain materials uh, such as phosphorus produces fluorescence in certain materials such as phosphorus what it means 
when these rays are incident on the materials some materials like phosphorus they produce the fluorescence it means when it is incident on that material that material begins to glow these rays cannot pass through glass they cannot pass through the material like glass but pass through quartz fluorite but pass through quartz quartz is also a transparent material quartz fluorite rock salt etc this is one property of this ultraviolet rays they possesses property of synthesizing vitamin d property of synthesizing vitamin d vitamin d is synthesized by the uv rays when skin is exposed to these uv rays skin is exposed to uv rays so these are the some properties of these ultraviolet rays then there are some important uses of the uv rays uses uses of the uv rays destroy germ and bacteria very important property destroy germs and bacteria hence used for sterilization of surgical instruments and purification of waters this important property that is it destroys germs and bacteria by using this property it is used in sterilizing the surgical instruments and uh, for the purification of water used in burglar alarm and security system these invisible as these rays are invisible we cannot see these rays so these rays are used in this uh, bulgar alarm one cannot see the rays if these rays are in intercepted by that particular instrument uh, that alarm automatically uh, becomes on hence it is used in bulgar alarm and security system used to distinguish real and fake gems gems are uh, very costly and one can distinguish these real and fake gems uh, by using this uv radiation used in analysis of chemical compounds this is one important use of these ultraviolet rays and they are used to detect forgery to detect the forgery
to detect the forgery the ultraviolet radiations can be used so these are the some important properties and uses of this ultraviolet rays okay students today we stop here thank you